Na tukirudi hapa nchini viongozi wa vijana pamoja na makundi ya mashirika ya kijamii wamekemea hatua ya watu ambao wanaojidai kuwa maskota kuendelea kuishi katika ardhi za umma na za watu binafsi katika kaunti ya Mombasa wakiongozwa na mtetezi wa haki za kibinadamu Emmanuel Chengo viongozi hao wanasema swala la watu kujitokeza na kusema hawana mahala pa kuishi limekuwa ndio mtindo kwa watu walio na hila mbaya na wanataka kujinufaisha na kisicho chao Of great concern is that some of the commercial squatters have the backing of local leaders who have been inciting them to continue with the encroachment. We wish to allow the government for its action corruption and in the country and urge that it, it rains on people and leaders inciting them to invade private land. As we talk, one of the companies, Shirij Chemicals Limited, which employs about 1,200 people, most of them being youths, is in the process of relocating its liquid glass manufacturing factory and transport company out of Mombasa. Actually, 70% of our population, we have youths. Ambao, some of the private companies, wame, actually, we employ more than 20%. How wengine watakwenda wapi? Kama wao watafunga wa makampuni yao. Kindly, we request we are not blackmailing the government, but we are requesting this government to intervene. The National Land Commission should move with speed and investigate this. The ethics and corruption should also move and inspect this. We cannot allow a leader to mislead the public. That's very wrong. Very wrong indeed. Bad is my friend, and really this is wrong.